Hi YouTube, this is just a quick uh, video I thought I'd do just to show you something that I've discovered um, about the Kangtech Sub Tank Mini. Um, I was running a 0.4 ohm coil in it, uh, sorry, 0 0.4 ohm coil in it, and I, like the other night I built, uh, rebuilt my coil head to 1.7 ohms, which is quite high. Normally a lot higher than what I'd like, because normally it's like 1.2 or less. But I was pleasantly surprised at the results of it purely because I discovered a lot about in just building this coil head about the cloud chasing theory that it's all about how low we can go in ohms. It's not about how low you can go in ohms. It's it's a combination, I think, between the airflow that you have, the liquid that you're using, and I'd say how long you can draw on it for um, in general because that is 1.7 at 30 watts um, it really does work phenomenally well I mean I was so surprised I thought I'd do this quick video explaining it so here you go That's a lot of vapour from a very high um, resistance device, um, uh, coil rather. The reason I think this is because it has the advantage of running on a variable wattage device. Um, what I wouldn't recommend is I wouldn't recommend that you get a clear margin and try this because obviously it might be plastic. The heat might damage your tank and it might knacker it. But if you've got something with glass like this and you are able to rebuild your coil heads. The combination of having the airflow wide open. Having good airflow around the coil inside the coil head helps as well. Getting your wicking right is absolutely essential as well I mean don't go too thick or too thin I mean I like leave when I re rebuild these I leave about one maybe two millimeters hanging out the um, intake holes on the either on either side of it and then snip it and then push them in and that seems to work absolutely perfect because it doesn't leak that I've had no leaking through the air hole air intake hole on it but I've no leaking around the bottom of this either because I, I put an additional black seal in it to completely seal it just to make sure it never leaks The one thing about it is it's a less of a dense vape, more of an airy vape. But it's not lacking in flavour in any way though. Um, that's a really nice surprise about it. You're still getting a lot of vapour at 1.7 ohms remember. So that's quite high. Um, I, I might even build a similar, maybe even a 2 ohm build in, in my little... Uh, tobacco quasar dripper just to try it to see if the if the theory in this will work in this um, a single coil build I think two ohms using because this is the wraps in this is actually ten wraps yes ten using 28 gauge camphor yeah, it did start off as 1.9, but after a few drags, after a few takes on it, it dropped down to 1.7. So it performs absolutely mint. Only out of this in here now for two hours, and it's got through maybe just over a quarter ish in terms of liquid consumption. It again, this is with the, that diamond mist that I really do like. Um, diamond mist black current. Uh, because what I've been doing is I've been getting a 20 mil bottle like this, pouring the whole 10 mils in and then topping it with glass. And I'm not quite sure what the ratios work out, but I think you're talking at least 70, 20, 70, 30, round about PG, VG ratio. Oh, uh, sorry, VG, PG ratio. It, I like it. It's a really good way of 
getting a, it doubles up really quick for a start off and you get used to big clouds as well which is a big bonus so yeah that's a quick video about a coil I've made incredibly impressed with it but like I say if you're into your winding coils, check out Rip Trippers because the guy knows literally everything about how to do it. Um, plus, the stuff that he sees other people do, he has to go out himself and then shows us all how to do it. So, really proper respect goes out to him for that. And it's true, experimentation is probably going to be the best way of getting your best vaping experience out of it. Asking people in your local shop as well also helps. It's one of my favourite things, shooting shit, you know, that sort of thing. So there you go, fantastic vape using 1.7 ohms. I really do like it. I'm going to keep on vaping until, well, until after I replace the cotton, and I'll probably pop, pop some more cotton for it. Just to basically refresh it. And see how long it lasts for. Thanks very much for watching.